This is the Electronic Church of God, Arizona, presenting the Lord's Care Ministry, provided by James Berg, narrated by Forrest Grote. Thank you. Welcome to June 29th, the fourth work day of the week in the midst of the week, a day that we shall call a Wednesday. It's also time, brethren, to get right on into the Lord's Care Ministry, a year to keep your eyes on heaven, day 169 of the year 2011. Today's study is who or whom can you trust? Whom can you trust? Again, brethren, I suggest you grab a pen and paper, write down the chapter and verses that we give you. That way you'll be able to go back and read the whole context at your own leisure. Again, we'll be going into Micah, and I believe it's not a big book, and I suggest maybe you go in there and read the whole book. It's quite an interesting book. Use the pause button down here, brethren, in the corner to start and stop your video study. As we go along that way, you'll be able to pick up your Bibles and read right along with it. Well, with that, let's get into whom can you trust. And we we'll go to Micah chapter 7, verses 5 through 7. And we'll start reading right in Micah chapter 7 and verse 7. As for me, I look to the Lord for his help. Whom can you trust completely? Is there anyone in your world on whom you can depend without reservation? Many of us have a wife or a husband who comes to mind. I trust my wife implicitly without reservation. But what if I turned my back on her and left? What if I forsook our marriage vows and moved on? As loving and forgiving as she is, I am sure I could push her too far and fall out of her good graces. Of course, I do not intend to ever let that happen. But the possibility for pain and disappointment exists in every human relationship. Maybe you come from an unbelieving family and your brothers and sisters do not understand your faith. And I can attest to that. Can you trust them with your heart? Can you turn to them in a crisis? Is there anyone on earth without the capacity to let you down under the right set of circumstances? According to Micah, the answer is no. Micah chapter 7 verse 5 through 6 reads, Do not trust anyone, not your best friend or even your wife. For the son despises his father, the daughter defies her mother, the daughter-in-law defies her mother-in-law. Your enemies can be right in your own household. Micah understood that people are people. No matter how close you are to them, we are flawed and often unforgiving. Our love may be genuine and true and deep, but it is not entirely without condition. Turn your back on your friend, and it will not be long before he will turn his back on you. But God is not that way. Micah chapter 7 and verse 7 we can read, 
As for me, I look to the Lord for his help, says Micah. I wait confidently for God to save me, and my God will certainly hear me. People have turned their backs on God time and again, yet he has never given up on us. We have let him down over and over and each time he relates with forgiveness. We spit in the face of his son, and he embraces us with his love and redemption. If you think you can fall out of God's grace, think again. If you think you can push him so far that he will never accept you back, you are wrong. If you believe his love has an ounce of condition attached to it. Just look at the story of humanity. So let me ask again, whom can you trust completely? Only God. How can you and I trust God for the things we need? Have you accepted His unconditional forgiveness and love? If not, Go to him today. How cheering is the Christian's hope. Micah chapter 7 and verse 7. I watch and hope for the Lord. I wait for God, my Savior. Brethren, in God's word only do we trust. Never in the tradition of men. Beware of the tradition of men that make void the word of God. Brethren, have you put all your trust in God? Or do you put it in man? Before you start going asking man to do this and that for you, get down on your knees and ask God to help. And if you truly have the faith he will hear you. But you first have to love God. If you don't love God completely, He will not hear you. He says, If you love me, keep my commandments. Even the smallest commandment, the least commandment. For James 2.10 says, you break the least commandments and you broke them all. That means you're a murderer, adulterer, thief. Brother, if you want to change your ways while you're on your knees, ask the Father for forgiveness for following the tradition of men. Ask Him to forgive you for not following His ways. And if you truly want to change in your heart, he will hear you. And while you're on your knees, ask for the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding that he has given to you in that Bible that you should have before you now, checking up on everything we have to say. And if you do that and follow his way, you will find the narrow path that leads to eternal salvation. Well, brethren, with that, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. God willing. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.